Captain Mortgage here. It's Halloween, and so I'm going to dress up as one of my least favorite shows on TV, Ice Road Truckers. I've actually never seen the show. I just assumed that they all look like this. Uh, today we're going to be talking about credit. Uh, credit is one of the two big factors that goes into uh, getting qualified for a mortgage. Uh, the, the other factor is your debt-to-income ratio. Uh, those are the two really big things that we look at initially. Uh, so we're going to talk about how credit is calculated and how it affects you. Uh, the biggest thing is that credit is calculated based off of late payments, the balances on your credit cards, and any judgments, liens, or collections that have been filed against you. Uh, the biggest way to get a higher score is certainly to make on-time payments and keep the, keep the balances on your credit cards low. Uh, the higher the balances on your credit cards, the more likely it's going to negatively affect your score. Uh, the general rule of thumb is to keep the balances about 30% of the high credit limit. So if you've got a $1,000 credit limit on a credit card, try to keep the balance at uh, about $300 or less. Uh, that'll have a, a positive impact on your, um, sorry, my beard here just keeps falling down. Uh, that'll have a positive impact on your credit score. Uh, the other big thing is, is making sure that any late payments uh, are taken care of. Um, it, there are certain things that can be on your credit report, like a late payment on housing that can delay the time period in which we can get you qualified for a mortgage. Uh, generally, what we're looking for is no late payments on any housing, mortgage-related, or rentals in the last 12 months. So you want to make sure that those things are, uh, are taken care of and that you don't have any late payments on those. Um, the other big thing that we want to see when it comes to credit is just to make sure that, that your scores are generally above 620. We can go down to a 580 uh, in certain circumstances, but uh, really 620 is the mark that we want to be above. Uh, anything from 580 to 620 is doable. It's considered poor credit. Uh, 620 to 680 roughly is average credit. 680 to 7. 40, 720 is considered good, and then 740 on up is considered excellent credit. Uh, that's just a real general overview of credit for you. If you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email or uh, give me a call. Captain Mortgage here. Uh, my email address is nasbill at gohomeside.com. Have a great Halloween and be safe. See ya.